Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to tonight's Wednesday, March 8th, 2023 Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Boys Varsity Hockey Action as your Walpole Timberwolves host the Silver Lake Regional Lakers in an MIAA Division II Elite Eight state quarterfinal game from the Rodman Arena in Walpole. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. I'll be providing all the play-by-play -play action along with my co-host, John Morris, who will be providing his insightful color commentary. The Timberwolves, who have scored 25 goals in their last three games, rolled over Auburn 9-2 to advance, while Silver Lake edged Gloucester 5-4. Tonight's winner will face the Norwood Holliston winner in the final four state semifinals. Well, it'll certainly take something else to improve on this game, on the game that Tri-Captain Jason Finkelstein had in the Auburn game. The Babson College for baseball bound senior scored six goals in the route. Jason led the team in scoring with 27 points a year ago. This year he tops the list with 26 goals and 22 helpers for 48 points. Eddie Jackson added a pair of lamplighters and junior Zach Donahue finished the scoring with his initial varsity goal. The Timberwolves are ranked fourth in Division II seedings. Because the MIAA doesn't recognize shootout decisions except for this journey, Walpole's M MIAA record is 14-6-2, not what it really is, 15-6-1. The orange and blue uh, opened the tournament play with a 9-0 route of Somerville in the opening round. Junior Ryan Walsh was the offensive catalyst for that game with four goals and an assist. Senior goalie George Shamoon picked up his ninth victory of the year before yielding to fellow 12th grader Ryan Folks in the third period. The orange and blue comes in with a four game winning streak after prevailing in the Walter Songen tournament, toppling North Attleboro for the crown seven to one after trimming King Phillip in a shootout four to three in the opening round. Walpole finished seven, five and one and in third place in the Hergit division of the Bay State Conference. The Timberwolves are 11, three and one at home and have outscored their opponents 89 to 47. This is the first meeting of these two schools. And not counting the COVID restricted year of 2020, 2021, this is the seventh straight year Walpole has qualified for postseason play. Silver Lake was third in the Keenan division of the Patriot League with a 7 6 and 1 record, 16 7 and 1 overall. The Lakes are 6 4 and 1 on the road and have outscored their opponents 91 to 64. Seated fifth in D2, a spot behind Walpole, Silver League encompasses the towns of Kingston, Plimpton, and Halifax. The red and white has victories over Rockland, six to four and five to nothing. Oliver Ames, five to four. Duxbury, four to three. Whitman Hanson Regional, two to one and three to two. Uh, Plymouth North, five to four. Abington, five to two. North Quincy, five to one. East Bridgewater, West Bridgewater, seven to two. Quincy, 6-2. Bridgewater, Raynham, Regional, 7-2. Plymouth South, 2-1. Dartmouth, 9-3. And Minichog Regional, 6-1 in their tourney opener. Teams that have beaten Silver Lake include Marshfield, 4-2 and 4-1. Situate, 5-1. Duxbury, 5-0. Pembroke, 2-0. And Mansfield, 3-2. Now, we uh, have John... You just can't imagine how many people are in the, the stands uh, around the edges of this thing. This place is packed. Yeah, both of us have been coming to this rink for a long time, and I don't think we've ever seen it like this. This is all the ingredients for a dandy tonight. You have great senior scoring and leadership from both teams. Both teams lost in the quarterfinal last year. One of these teams is going to punch their ticket to the Final Four. They both want it badly. They're both very good teams. Both towns have turned out in force tonight, and uh, I think you're going to have a great one tonight. Right. So ladies and gentlemen, you've often, if you would like to do this, something like this, doing play-by-play, -play, our color, for any Walpole High School games, you should contact Walpole Media Corporation Director, Executive Director Tamara Green at 508-668-7795, or email her at tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. We're always looking for people to cover events. It's a fun thing to do. You get to know the players, you get to know the teams, uh, it's just a lot of fun. The kids enjoy it. You'll have a good time. 
and you get to see the excitement like we do build as the season goes along until you get to tournament time and the further into the tournament you go, the more exciting it gets. So once again, anyone wishing to do play-by-play -play or color commentary, please contact Walpole Media Corporation Director, Executive Director Tamara Green at 508-668-7795 or email her at tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. That's your goalie, Fields Strummer, the goalie. Announcing of the starting lineups, we will have the playing of the national anthem. Well, I gotta tell you, you know it's gonna be a big game when you hear the brigade singing the national anthem. Brigade off to our right, many bedecked in green uh, for Celtics shirts and in green uh, in a nod to uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up next week. Anyway, the starting lineup for Walpole, we have uh, the, uh, for, for uh, Silver Lake, we will have uh, re, uh, Strummer Beals in goal. Strummer is his first name. Uh, the Brandon Kavicki, Patrick Murphy, Ben Cronin, Aiden Dunphy, and Liam Tompkins uh, doing the uh, honors for Silver Lake. For Walpole, it'll be our starting first line. Ryan Walsh at left wing, Jason Finkelstein at center, Eddie Jackson on right wing. The defensemen are uh, Matt Biancooley and uh, Drew Norton and George Shamoon is in goal. We're ready with four officials tonight. Thank you. And we're underway. Face off one by Walpole. Matt Biancooley with it, gets it over to Daco, back gets it back, I mean to Norton gets it back. Circling around, back to Norton. Drew, it's a stale shot. Whistled wide over the top of the net by Murphy for Silver Lake. There's a turnover in the Walpole zone. Was not something you want to see early on. There's another shot and a save. Another shot, save. Silver Lake putting a lot of pressure on already on Shamoon in the Walpole net. Backhanded in, the Lakers have to clear. Here comes Matt Bean Cooley down the left side. Coming in, drops it in behind the net. Walpole changing on the fly. Here's a steal by uh, Curran, but he has it taken away. And taking it up for Walpole is Joey Cox. He throws it into the behind the net. It's picked up there by uh, by Paseglia. Well, Silver Lake starting out with it. Going wide, throwing in front, cleared into the corner. It's up along the boards, Griffin Curran keeps it in. 
Cross wall, uh, Silver Lake having their stick back end held on to by Shamoon. And he'll get a face off to his right. Both teams seem a little jumpy here in the early going. Both teams have had turnovers in their, on their own end, which led to some opportunities both ways. George has seen three shots already right. have been shot. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Nate DiMartinez taking the face off of Walpole. The neutral draw comes back though to Walpole coming up along the boards. It's picked up there by uh, Owen McKenna, I think. Comes out to Central Center's Ice. A big hit. A big hit by uh, Andrew Falzone. Big hit by Falzone in the neutral zone. Right. Now a big hit by Murphy. Yeah. As it goes the length of the ice, this will be icing, and we'll come back for a faceoff to the left of Beals in the Silver Lake goal. Silver Lake comes in with a, with a scouting report of a very physical team as well, and Walpole matches that physicality as we see early right. on. Yep. Both top lines back out there now. Faceoff comes back to the point. Shot throw screen wide of the net. That was by uh, Tyler Daco. He's paired up with Tim uh, Donahue. Donahue clears the puck away. Shot off the wall. Donahue over there for Walpole. He'll get it behind the net. Gets it up along the boards to, uh, I think that was, uh, yeah, it was Frinkelstein. Shot into the corner. Walpole coming up with it. That goes the length of the ice, and that will be icing. And we'll come back to the left of George Shamoon in the Walpole net for the faceoff. Walpole get a line change off that icing. So far, I'd say Silver Lake has had a few of the more better opportunities. It's been pretty even, but the opportunities have been a little favor Silver Lake. Right. <laughs> Officials setting things up here. Comes up out of the zone. Silver Lake has to take it in the neutral zone. Aiden Dumphy dumps it back in for, for um, Silver Lake. It's taken there by Biseglia. Mike throws it against the wall. Comes behind to Drew Norton. Norton coming up, clears it up, goes to center ice, and it's picked up there by uh, Connor Donahue for Silver Lake. All right. Biseglia over the corner, getting it up off the boards. Walpole clears it up, goes to center ice and cleared in again. All right, Norton looking, sends it on the side to Ben Cooley. Ben Cooley drops. Nice play from his knees to yeah. dump it deep. All right, behind the net is Owen McKenna for Walpole. The puck gets stuck on the netting behind the net, and it'll be a face off to the right of uh, Beals. Nice four check by Owen McKenna, they disrupted the play, got the face off in the offensive zone. <clears throat> DiMartinez taking the draw, he wins it. Comes out, although coming away with it is Silver Lake. And Daco up off the boards. Nobody there. There's a foul zone, throws it in. D. Martinez, Donahue with it, is blocked by, here comes a, is McKenna, going down, shot up over the top of the net, comes down right in front, boy the goalie that lucked out there. Daco shot, right leg save. Jackson there, and it comes down, okay. Daco picks it up, it's cleared in. Going there for Walpole, throwing in front. Oh, he was had uh, Walsh and it kicked off his skate before he could get it to his stick.
behind the net. Nice job by Finkelstein to ride 14 off the puck. Goes in behind the net, that first line out there for the Timberwolves. Okay, Walpole changing up one at a time. Walsh with his steal. Shot. No! No! Oh my God! I want to see that replay. That looked like it was over the line. The official was right Walpole there. Walpole almost scored. I saw White. I don't know about that. Boy, that uh, looked to me like that was clearly over the line. I'd Very love close. To see that again. Have to see it love again. To see it again. Anyway, those are face off now with uh, Okay, DiMartinez on the draw for Walpole. Curran let one rip and it broke through the goal. He just didn't get over the goal line, it looks like. Well, that's what the ref called anyway. Yeah, he was there. Coming down for Silver Lake is Connor Finn. That's going in. They wave off icing. Tim Donahue picking it up for Walpole. Now Tyler Dacko. Dacko up along the boards. <laughs> Eddie Jackson uh, beats head to head with Shane Hackett. Pick up the Lakers. With a sandwich move. Digging it out for Walpole. Up along the woods, kept the Silver Lake keeps it. A shot up over the top of the net. And uh, hits the uh, protective both covering. Both teams ate their Wheaties this morning. They're they both sure did. a lot of strength. Yeah. This is going to be a very strict. All right, the face-off will be to Shamoon's right. Joey Cox will take the draw for the Timberwolves. Walpole gets it along the boards. Finkelstein takes a big hit behind the net. Puck goes out to the neutral zone. And picking it up and bringing it down. Matt being Cooley. His shot goes behind the net. Walpole changes all five skaters. Nah, the, just the line, the line change. The Seglia tracing it down behind the net. Throws it around up along the boards. Two. Walsh, there's a break. Shot. Oh, a save by Griffin, and he's upended into the uh, Laker net. 7.33 left in the first period. We'll have a penalty. So far, the, the refs have put the whistles away and let yeah. the boys go up and down, back and forth. It's been a, a lot of serious hitting out there already. So, if I, if Karen is recognizing when the defenseman is pinched and he's getting away down that right wing. That's the second time he's got away down the right wing. You might be seeing their D keeps pinching and he's getting away. They might right. be able to capitalize that. Yep. Puck coming up. Sunrise, Tim Donahue deflects it. He'll chase it into the corner along with uh, Cam Cottarelli. Walpole gets it out. Nice behind the back pass by Griffin Curran. Bounce and shot cleared into the corner by Beals. Center ice, puck picked up by uh, Shade Hackett. His shot goes into the corner. DiMartinez chasing it down along the boards. 
keeping it in, throws it behind the net. Going in after it, Owen McKenna. The crowd is so big here, all we can hear is the rattle of the boards. <laughs> we don't even see the hit. Exactly. <laughs> this is by far the biggest crowd I've ever seen here at this rink. Puck coming out. Oh. Okay, Donahue with it. Over to Jacko, back to Donahue. Going in. Jackson chasing it into the corner. He's got Eddie, Matt Walsh there. Ryan Walsh. Puck goes in behind the net. Jackson battling for it, looking for somebody out front. Uh. Uh. Walpole will go be deleted here as Tyler Dackel will go for a trip. Time of the penalty, nine minutes, 21 seconds. Silver Lake will go on the power play here. That, penal, that penalty happened at the end of uh, Finkelstein's shift. He's one of your best penalty killers, so he's on the bench taking a break. Let's see if they can uh, kill this. Kill this. this is a big one. Right. Okay, puck cleared down the length of the ice. Beal stops it behind his net. Keep an eye on 14 on their power play. He's their, he's their top offensive. Going up along the boards. Walpole is able to get there and clear it out. Good move. Curran's shot goes up over the net. Walpole gets it. Now it comes up to uh, Kavicki. Around them, and Walpole is able to clear it down. Being Cooley getting it down there. One minute left on the power play for the Lakers. Going into the uh, Finkelstein chasing it down. He gets it ahead to being Cooley. A little scuff there on the shot. Comes up along the boards. Tough to see that corner with that the crowd. Is, right. Now it comes up to uh, Dunphy. His shot is wide of the net. Big save, save by George there. Big that got save. through. I, I don't know if he saw it, just hit his body. Yeah. Eddie Jackson, oh. He was looking. He had uh, Finkelstein going down. There's a long shot blocked in front. And this goes the length of the ice. 10 seconds left on the power play for the Lakers. One here more comes, chance down the ice. Here comes this kid can fly right here. Step. Shot. Cleared up ahead. No go. Once, good defensive play there once again. Walpole looking awesome and they clear it the length of the ice. It will be a face off back next to Shaboom but Walpole looked good for killing off that, that penalty then. Big penalty kill by Walpole. Let's see if they can turn this momentum into a little offense and get one here. Right. All right, once again, the faceoff will be to the left of George Shamoon in the Timberwolf goal. And no icing, they waved it off. Chasing after it is uh, Connor Donahue for the L Lakers. Finn sent off. There's a save by Shamoon. And Donahue gets it up along the boards. Takes a hit for his work. All right, Dacko, Tyler Dacko there. Gets it up to Curran. Curran gets it into the neutral zone. Because Walpole, oh. 
Sending it back into the corner is Ryan Walsh. Eddie Jackson over there for Walpole. Walpole, okay. Lakers backhand dump in by uh, Shane Hackett. Going up along the boards. Walpole trying to clear the puck out. Get it off the far boards. Over to Drew Norton. Norton sends it down. Uh, no icing, it went off a, a stick of the Lakers. Coming down on the right side. And that one will be icing. And we'll come back to the left of uh, Strummer, Strummer Beals. 155 left in this first period. We're still scoreless in this uh, game. Walpole wins the draw, comes back to Daco. He gets it over to Donio. Donio threw his screen, a save by Beals. Sends it into the corner. Over there for Walpole and getting it up along the boards. A shot in front, blocked. Here come the Lakers. Saved by Shamoon and he holds on on a shot by uh, Aiden Dunphy, uh, 128 to go in the first period. Faceoff will be to George's left. Dumped in by uh, Brandon Steinbeck, Dergen. Lakers keep it in. Not off the boards. Oh. Not, uh, picked off by uh, Pat Murphy of Silver Lake. Eddie Jackson throws it in behind the net. We're under a minute to play in the period. Up along the boards. Finkelstein with it. Fires through a screen up high is saved by Beal. It's cleared up. Ben Cooley keeps it in. Goes, hands it off to Ben Cronin. Who he loses it uh, up to the point. Norton with a shot. It's blocked. There's a breakout. Shot save, rebound, save! What a save by back Shaboon. to back save! Whoa. One of them, unbelievable! John Shaboon doing the work there. A minute, 11.6 seconds. Back to back save. The second Shaboon of which was came up high in the crease, made the save, and the puck went behind him, and he had to reach out with his paddle. Still, what a save! Still made it, yeah. All right, the faceoff will be to George's right. 11.6 seconds left in the period. Okay, being Cooley with it. Up off the boards. Walpole with one last chance. Shot saved and held on to a quick whistle with nine tenths of a second. The face off will be to the right of Beal, but this will have to be right off the face-off, you score. Just shoot it right for the, the net. Oh, Walpole pulls Shamoon for this last second. The extra skater is uh, Jason Finkelstein. Shot, and that horn sounds ending the first period. This has been tournament hockey at its best, folks. A lot of uh, action, both ends of the ice. Both teams skate nice and hard, fast, hard hitting. And it, I mean, both goalies, uh, their goalie didn't, wasn't as, uh, as pressed as Shaboon, but Shaboon made some excellent saves. Yeah, 
Civil Lake goalie was not tested in the same way George was, and George answered the bell every time, right. including that spectacular one with about a minute to go in the period. Yep. Um, Wobble had that one opportunity with about seven or eight minutes to go in the period where Curran had the shot that broke through the goalie, and I guess right. we'll have to wait till we can see some yeah, film to see that if that went boy. in. It looked like it might have got in. It did. The, it looked the, to me like from here that it went up, it was you know rolled in. But anyway, what do we got for shots? Shots so far at 10 for Silver Lake and 7 for Walpole. All right, so it was a good one. Anyway, they're going to make a new sheet of ice here, folks. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back shortly with second period action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second period action here from the Rodman Arena in Walpole and this MIAA Division II uh, Elite Eight competition between the... Timberwolves of Walpole High School and the Lakers of Silver Lake Regional. We are tied scoreless after the first period. It's been one great hockey game so far. We are expecting nothing more from this point on. Walpole will be going left to right on your TV screen for the middle frame. Bringing it up now as uh, Brandon Kavicki sends it in behind the net. The shot. Thrown out front, picked up here. And here comes Finkelstein. Shot by, oh, oh no. almost a shoulder, there. off the shoulder of the goalie by Eddie Jackson. Another shot, kick to the side. Beal being peppered right off the bat here by the Timberwolves. Being Cooley gets the puck, sends it down. Ah, unfortunately hit the official, or else it would have gone in to the uh, zone. All right, Matt picking it up here. Has it knocked off a stick, gets it back. Up ahead this time, comes over to uh, Norton. Drew back to Ben Cooley. Ben Cooley coming down, gets it to Finkelstein. Jason looking, uh, has it knocked off a stick. Ben Cooley's gonna chase it back. They say no icing as it didn't quite make it to the line. Puck goes in, and it'll be icing, and the faceoff will come back to the right of George Shamoon in the Walpole goal. You know, in the first period, I felt they didn't get the puck on Finkelstein's stick enough. Very first shift, they get it to Finkelstein, he carries it with speed, they get a quality uh, opportunity there. Right. The more he can have the puck on his stick, the more opportunities they're gonna get. Right. Okay, Walpole wins the draw, Basiglia winning it up along the boards. Here comes Walpole. Shot up into the protective netting on a shot by uh, Griffin Curran. Face off will come to the right of Strummer Beals. Curran's had two or three good shots off that left wing and he has a great shot. Yep. All right, Basiglia on the draw for Walpole. Back, comes back to the left point. Shot, kind of, into, oh, Curran just couldn't get that bouncing puck in his, gets it back, shots, oh, deflected wide. And there's a, Walpole there. Fox there battling along with Basiglia. Basiglia. Clear it down, no icing. Tim Donahue down there for Walpole. Gets it up along the boards. Here it comes, nice touch pass coming to Biseglia. Oh, just off the stick of Cox. Joey almost had an open net to shoot at. Couldn't quite control the puck. Grady Murphy sends it back along behind the net. Comes up, Walpole keeps it at the point. Norton sends it behind the net. Murphy's there for Walpole. Now we've got Di Martinez coming away. Blocked by Walpole. Big hit. They The big hitting continues here as we right. get underway here in the second period. 
Both teams really want this. Right, it's icing. We'll come back to the left of Shamoon. A lot of hitting. The hitting's getting more intense out here now. Naughton had a big hit right down here, right well, underneath right. us at the red line. Okay, the face off to George's left. Jackson on the draw for Walpole. And off the ball. Stolen in by Dunphy. He's looking, drops it back, nobody there. Save, and Shamoon holds on to it for the faceoff to his left once again. So it looks like Walpole has a little faceoff play set up here. They don't have Fink taking the faceoff. Right. They have Jackson. Looks like they're going to try to run a fly pattern here on the right on the right wing. And Silver Lakes has 14 sitting up high waiting yeah. for him. All right. Ian Cooley gets it ahead to uh, the cleared back in. Naughton sends it up along the boards. Picking it up there is Finkelstein. Here comes the big train. Oh, oh, shot, save. Set, shot, save again. Another two, two back to back. Keeping it at two the right big point. Saves shot, by another the, save before it can get through by to Beals. him. Beals. Yep. Naughton there. Clears it into the center zone. Here comes, uh, Shot, shot, yeah! No, oh my God, how did that not go in? What a save by Beal there. Well, yeah. Beal's been tested now and he's answered the call two or three times there. He has, yeah. Okay, but being Cooley with it. There we go. Intercepted by uh, Connor Finn. Looking a shot cleared out and out. It looks like we may have a uh, face-off back to uh, Shamoon's right. Ten Walpole. minutes, seven seconds to go in the third, second period. Walpole's doing a much better job getting the puck to Finkelstein with speed through the neutral zone in this period. It's creating right. some chances for them. Yep. The neutrals, please. Daco sends it along the boards. Comes up to uh, Curran. Curran gets it out to center ice. Here comes... Uh, Howard, uh, Howard again. Daka with the puck. He gets it up to Biseglia. Mike's ridden off the play, but gets it over to Cox. Daco, Daco, nice play. Throwing it off the wall. Okay, Daco, okay, comes up to Curran. Griffin coming down the left side. Fires a shot that goes uh, deflected up into the protective netting. Faceoff will come out to the right of the Sup Strummer Beal in the uh, Silver Lake net. Nate DiMartinez taking the draw for Walpole. It's a neutral zone, but Wal uh, coming up with it is Dunphy. Aiden Dunphy, one of the captains for Silver Lake. Puck coming along the ball, the puck. Up off the stick of uh, McKenna. Got a penalty coming up here. 
Interference, the call. On uh, foul zone. Time of the penalty, four, uh, six minutes and 25 seconds. Walpole uh, be on the shot-handed end here for the second time in this game. Silver Lake has yet to draw a penalty. Face-off will be to Shamoon's right. They're calling uh, Tompkins back out and sending uh, Jacob Bateman back into the bench. Lining up for the faceoff here. Tompkins will do the draw. He's waved out of the circle. And going in is uh, up to the point goal. Shot cleared wide of the net. Trying to throw it in front, nobody there. All right, going up off the boards to uh, Cronin. Cronin looking for somebody in front of the net. Gets it up, and that'll go out. There's a chance, chasing it down. Finkelstein was down there, and it's picked off by Pat Murphy. He goes behind his net and will settle things down, start out again. He's got Connor Dunyu with him. Oh, Finkelstein almost picked that right. one. Right. Off the boards by Cronin. Up top to Donahue. Connor Donahue has a steal for Walpole. Here's Finkelstein coming in all alone. Shoot! Oh, what a save! Another save! Beal stops him. No, he got a uh, Offsides the call. Jackson get back on side on that play. Tough call for Walpole right, there. Right, yep. So seven, 47 seconds left on the power play for Silver Lake. All right, the face off in front of the Walpole bench. Silver Lake wins it. The red and white starting out. Coming on down now. Pass over to Cronin. Daco doing a good job on D. Goes behind, Tim Donahue going behind for Walpole. He's dumped. Shot cleared behind the net. Puck goes down. And it's cleared out. And this will be no icing because when they sent it out, Walpole was shot handed. Now Walpole team's back at full strength. That's going to be a rush by number 14. Yep. He went coast to coast, dropped a nice pass to the front of the net, and they got it home on the power play. And it's uh, Brandon Kavicki with the goal. Time of the goal, 8 minutes 38 seconds. 13 seconds after the two teams uh, went to full strength. And I think, uh, like we said, Aiden Dunphy will get one of the assists. Shot. Beal comes way out of Jackson, dumps it in behind to Walsh. Walsh battling there. Comes out to the point. Kept him by not, not in shot. Whoa, whistles wide in the near side. Finkelstein gets it up, another vehicle outside, goes outside, Walpole's got a clear in. Finkelstein touched it. Go, 
So that, that was just, just the one assist on the goal by uh, Silver Lake. Dunphy from Brendan uh, Brandon Kavicki. Eddie Jackson has it knocked off his stick. Coming down now. Up along the boards by Walsh. Center Hickens. Finkelstein gets it, circles around, tried to stuff it in the post, but Beal was there to cover it up for the faceoff, which will be to his right. With 524 left in the second period, Silver Lake on top, one to nothing, on a goal by Brandon Kavicki. Silver Lake coming down. Shot, great save. And a, a penalty on uh, Tim Donahue. What a save by Shamoon. I think we're going to get a hook on Donahue yeah. chasing the play. Yeah. Silver Lake's going back on the power play. It is a hook. Yep. Yeah. Time of this penalty, uh, 9.46. Face off to Shamoon's left. Third penalty on Walpole in the game. Silver Lakes had none. Jackson for checking there. Okay, Silver Lakes starting back out. Keeping it in at the left point. Shot goes up high off glass. Comes to Dunphy. Dunphy back to Cronin. Dunphy clears it. No, Cronin clears it in. Cronin gets it back again. Up to the right point. Looks like we're going to have a penalty on Silver Lake now. Yeah. Cross so it'll check. be four on four for another minute 13 and then Wapple have 47 seconds of a power play. Uh, Liam Tompkins for cross check. Four on four, a lot of open ice. Got to keep an eye on number 14 here. Shot throw screen by being Cooley, battling away for it in front of the net. Just unable Strummer to get Beals is playing great this period. He's been tested a lot and he's made a lot of quality right. saves. Curran gets it back and it goes, splits the defense. Daco gets it. Off the boards to Bian Cooley. Bian Cooley sends it behind the net. He's takes a big hit off the boards. And Cooley coming down. Civil A coming back. And Daco backhands it in. Gets it over uh, to Curran. Griffin gets it behind the net. Over there for Walpole. Spin it in. 21 seconds of four on four, and then Walpole will go on the power play. Comes out to the neutral zone, back to Bean Cooley. Bean Cooley hits uh, Jackson, Eddie looking, going behind the net. Gets it up to the point, Daka with it. Walpole at full strength. There's a shot, oh, what a save, another shot. Eddie Jackson was robbed twice. Two shot, Eddie Jackson just, uh, a, you know, a tremendous saves by Beal. Beal has been incredible for them this period. You know, he really wasn't tested in the first period. He has been this period, right. and he's really risen to the challenge. Yep. He's had two or three superior saves. Right. Okay, the face off to Beal's left. Finkelstein taking the draw.
Walpole on the power play. Being Cooley gets it back, keeps it in. Back off the stick of uh, Finkelstein. Jackson picks it up behind the net. Gets it over to Walsh. Walsh looking for someone. Gets it up to Daco. Uh, Walpole's got to clear the zone. It's a steal by Dak, uh, Denfey. And that clears up the penalty. Both teams at full strength. A big hit by uh, Tyler Daco on uh, Nathan Hicks. Big, nice open ice hit there. Offsides the call as uh, Connor Finn was bringing it in. Now Finn and Daco having a few words. All even strength again. Yep. Uh, that wasn't Daco, that was uh, Tim Dunavan, Dunio and uh, Finn. 159 left in this second period. Walpole gets the draw. Circling away up along the boards. Oh. Picking it off as Biseglia gets it back. Uh, his pass is stolen, but Walpole gets it at center ice. Cleared back in. Coming back out is Dunphy. And Biseglia with it. Up to Biancoli. Biseglia a shot. <laughs> Save. Fell down on the crease, but there was no one there for Walpole to put it home. Backhanded. For, oh, another save. Minute left, minute 10 left in the period. Here comes Finkelstein. Oh, gloved onto at the post. As uh, Beal didn't let himself get fake. Had his glove down there and Jason just couldn't get it high enough to get over that glove. Another great save by Beal. Great save, Jason got in a little deep, really didn't right. have enough real estate left to make a move or get elevate that shot enough. 51.4 seconds left in this second period. Finkelstein on the draw. Walpole can't quite get it out. Goes in behind the net. Picked up there by Dunyu. Gets it to Walsh. No good. Tyler Jacko over there sends it around the boards. Finkelstein, he's got One 10 more rush. seconds. Shot whistles wide of the net. In behind, Jackson looking and he doesn't get there in time. And the horn sound ending the, another tremendous second period here. One goal scored. That was by uh, Brendan Kavicki for uh, Silver Lake with Aiden Dunphy assisting. That came at the uh, 8.38 mark. And... Uh, it's just been a great game. Great game. Both both fans are saluting both their teammates as uh, their, their uh, teams as they head to the locker rooms. We're going to have a great third period. Uh, Walpole really put the pressure right. on Strummer Beals, their goalie, in that period, and he answered the call every time. He did. He, he made really played great well. Great saves, yeah. And, um, the, the positive going forward is Walpole had more scoring opportunities. If they can figure a way to break through Beals, 
they might be okay. Right. What do we have for shots for that period? Shots for that period were 12 to 5 in favor of Walpole, but it's 19 15 for Walpole on shots. All right. Well, again, they're going to make some new ice. We will take a break here. We'll be back shortly with third period action in this uh, Elite Eight Division II MIAA tournament game with Silver Lake leading your Walpole Timberwolves one to nothing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rodman Arena in Walpole for a third period action in this MIAA Division II Elite Eight competition between the Timberwolves of Walpole High and the Lakers of Silver Lake Regional. Silver Lake on top, one to nothing. The only goal of the game scored by Brendan Kavicki from uh, Aiden Mer Dunphy at the uh, 8.32 mark of the uh, middle period. Um, Walpole has been, uh, had just gotten out of, gotten to full strength, 13 seconds after they went back to full strength. Uh, Silver Lake was able to convert in that second period. Uh, the uh, goalie for uh, Silver Lake, uh, Strummer Beals, was incredible. And uh, he'll need to do the same in this third period. If Walpole can play like they did in the second period, I like their chances. They had too many good quality chances not to capitalize. And they all shot him 12 to 5 while they were short-handed for two right. or three. Right. Their penalties, right. four yeah. or six minutes. Yeah. Here we go. And we're going. Jackson gets it to Finkelstein. Finkelstein to being Cooley back to Finkelstein. It's knocked away. And Silver Lake will start back. Cronin with the puck, throws it in front. It was intercepted by Walpole. Coming down, Finkelstein can't get into the zone. He picks up the loose puck at center ice. Whirls around a little bit. Has it knocked off a stick. But there, a long shot by uh, Drew Norton. Walpole with a steal there. Goes into Basiglia behind the net. He throws it in front. Nobody there for Walpole. Lakers start back out. Goes off the ball. Walpole's able to keep it in. Uh, Griffin Curran throws it up to uh, Tim O'Don. Tim Dunyu that puts it in the corner. Curran back there again. Shot. Oh, save there. By Beal with the right pad. A, a lot shot. of traffic out front. I don't think he saw that. No, I don't think Nice so hit either. by Visaglia there. Yeah. And Silver Lake ices the puck to take off some of the pressure. Good good shift by the Visaglia line. Right. They had to ice it to relieve the pressure. 13-29 yeah. left to go in regulation. Faceoff will be to Beal's left. Nate DiMartinez on the draw. Face off one, coming up with it is uh, McKenna. His pass is cleared out to center ice. Being Cooley with it, circles around back. Coming down on the left side. His shot, it goes blocked into the corner. Andrew Falzone sends it back behind the net. Going down there for Walpole. Keeping it in at the left pole. And being Cooley with the puck. Thrown into the corner, chasing it down. Jackson, Jackson up the boards will be in Cooley. Two Silver Lake players collide. Jackson trying to keep that puck still, but it bounced away from him. Silver Lake coming back, a long shot. Held on to by Shamoon. And the faceoff will come to his uh, right. Walpole's come out skating well in the third. A lot of pressure. Face off one by Silver Lake. Puck doesn't get through. Okay, Tim Donahue with it for Walpole. 
Gets it up along the boards. Oh. Oh. Finkelstein starts up. Over to Donahue. Donahue shot. Kick out save. Silver Lake starting back and it's stolen nicely by Donahue. Good play by Tim there. Finkelstein almost uh, was able to steal that puck in the corner. Circling back is Dunphy for Silver Lake. Goes behind his net, try and set things up again. Gets it out to center ice, but it's taken up by, uh, the, oh, just can't connect with uh, Curran, and it'll be icy, and we'll come back to the right of Shamoon for the faceoff. Both teams playing really hard, hitting, taking the body. Both teams have had to ice it a couple times to relieve some pressure so far. Right. Face off one by Walpole. Up along the boards. Coming out with it is Curran. Shot just missed the far post. And it goes out of the playing surface. Faceoff will come to the right of Beal. 11 minutes exactly left in regulation. So it looks like the coaches are matching lines here. Finkelstein lines just came over the boards. Oh, they're calling uh, Silver Lake players back. Yeah, they're not going to let him switch right. up. He was hoping to get their top line out against Finkelstein's. Jason taking the draw for Walpole. Silver Lake gets it and dumps it out. That'll be icing. Well, they get to change up now. Well, just reset, right? Right. They wanted that change and they got it. Yep. It's actually a smart play, probably what the coach right. wanted them to do and oh. so they could match their lines. Right. It's like an intentional walk though in baseball. Now yeah. let's see if Walpole can right. answer the bell. Biancoli's shot into the midsection of Beal, and he holds on to it. No, no rebound uh, that time, no rebound, and Walpole right. had two players, Jackson and Finkelstein, right there to yep. tap it home if there was anything left. And another faceoff to Beal's right. Back to the point. Biancoli sends it in behind the net. Comes up along the boards, kept in by Naughton. Naughton dumps it in, Eddie Jackson with it. Gets it to Finkelstein. We've got Walsh in front. He was looking for Walsh, couldn't connect with him. And Silver Lake uh, takes it away. Jackson doing some forechecking. Now Finkelstein in there too. Coming back down, Dunphy dumps it in. Cleared to center ice. Here comes Walsh. Walsh's shot goes off glass. Behind the net. Jackson there for Walpole. There's a break for the Lakers, but Finkelstein is there and he'll take it away. <clears throat> I don't think we'll see that first line come off the ice very much to this third period. Great Jackson. defensive play by 14 to block that pass from Finkelstein looking out front for Jackson. Comes back out to the point. Back over to Bian Cooley. Matt shot. No! no! Bian Cooley! Matt Bian Cooley from the left point. Walpole draws even, Matt. Being going from the left point, let it rip. Now oh. the top is coming off the building. I know. That was a great shot. It was through a screen, but uh, the goalie, I thought, had a clear view of it. Matt shot just couldn't, couldn't get up to it. Well, Bian Cooley puts Walpole into the tie here, one to one. This is what it's all about, right? Exactly. Walpole deserved that goal. They've been working hard, and right. now we got nine and a half minutes or so to go. Yep. Okay, Donahue with the puck. Oh. 
Rebound. Great low hard shot by Darko from the right point. Yep. Biseglia got a stick on it, tipped it right into the belly of the goalie. Right. Beautiful tip there out front. So Jackson and Finkelstein picked up assists on the goal. Shot up high, gloved and held on to by Beal. <coughs> face off once again to Beal's left. The Saglia keeps winning those face offs, getting it back to the I point. know, nice yeah. Goal. Comes back up again. Daco throws it in behind the net. Pesegli is back there. Center front. Oh, kept in nicely by Daco. Goes behind the net. And Silver Lake starts out. Dumped it into the corner, chasing it down as a uh, Hackett. He gets bumped off the play. Here comes Curran. Griffin coming out. Shot. Just wider than rebound. Current snapped off a hard one, just missed the He missed did. The net. And here comes the big train. Finkelstein shot. Big wide uh, rebound, but nobody there for Walpole. Finkelstein, no. Walsh to Finkelstein. So jumps over his stick, goes behind the net. Walpole keeping the pressure on. Walsh in front. Hey, Walpole's going on the power play on Silver Lake. Walpole's buzzing right now. Let's hope they can capitalize on this momentum. They're flying out right. there. So Connor Donahue will go to the net for, for tripping. That was B and Cully jumping into the play, drawing that penalty. 6.31 the time of the penalty. Walpole wins the draw, comes up to B and Cooley. Matt, back to Matt, through screen, save. Wow, Beal with a nice save with that. He flashed the right leg out. The puck fell to his feet and he, he was able to hold on to it for the face off. Face off once again to Beal's right. Jason kicks it up, being Cooley with it. Goes behind the net. Back up to the point to Daka. Tylo looking. Gets it to Biancooley. Biancooley's shot. Blocked in front before he can get through. Silver Lake coming back. Two on two here. Dunphy with it. Throws it into the corner. He'll go out there. He's got Kavicki in front for him. Nice hit by Biancooley to separate the puck there from the man. Okay, Walpole starting up. Back to Walsh. Being Cooley keeps it in. Oh! Pass goes back. Goes the length. Being Cooley chases it down. Drops it back for Daco. Tyler sends it up. To Being Cooley. Jumps coming down the boards. Matt out back, Finkelstein shot, and it's deflected up into the protective netting. Faceoff will be to the right of uh, Beal. 27 seconds left on Walpole's power play. Daco and Finkelstein come out. Uh, Tim Donahue is back in. Donahue keeps it at the point. Goes behind. Circling around. Curran shot over the top of the net. This is clear. Wow. Shamoon has to make the save. There are two seconds left, so back at full strength for both teams. Oh. 
And Silver Lake's going into the penalty box again. This time it's uh, Patrick Murphy for a cross check, I would say. Well, Wobble gets another big opportunity here. Yep. The refs have done a nice job in this game. They've only called penalties that were true penalties, nothing ticky-tacky. They've let them play. That was a penalty. They called it. Right. Oh, yeah. So just seven seconds after Walpole went to full strength, they'll go to get on the power play again here. <clears throat> Face off to Beals right. Puck comes up to being Cooley. Matt gets circling up. Sends it through. Oh, deflected over the top of the net by Finkelstein. Coming in, shoots, save. Kept in by being Cooley. Eddie Jackson battling there, comes up to the point. Kept in by Matt being Cooley. Gets it over to Jackson. Jackson throws it in behind the net. Finkelstein's there. And the puck hits uh, the protective netting. Will come to the right of Beal for the faceoff with uh, 121 left on Walpole's power play. That was a great chance by Walpole. B and Cully had Finkelstein cutting back door to the net and he almost tipped that in. Nice try. Walpole wins the faceoff. Pinkles being cool is shot into the midsection of Beal, and he holds on to it at the right post. A minute 12 still left of Walpole's power play. <clears throat> Back to being Cooley. Dumps it in behind the net. And, uh, and Silver Lake gives it. Kavicki will chase it down. Being cool, he puts on the brakes, gets it up along the boards. He's going to skate it out himself. Gets it off to Jason. Jason looking to cut in front, gets it up along the boards. Being cool, he shot through a screen. Right pad saved by Beal again. What a play, Finkelstein coming from nowhere to stop that play. Great hustle by Finkelstein to get back Great. on the back check. Great yeah. play. He can fly, and he showed it right there. Here comes uh, being Cooley with the puck. And it's cleared out to center ice. Finkelstein with it, comes in, shoots. Oh, Rebound, boy, he, save. He really... Okay, Walpole keeping the pressure on, shot. Oh, just wide of the net. Just beyond the reach of Griffin Curran. And this will be icing. He'll bring the puck all the way back to the left of Beal. Great Strummer chance Beals. there. Cox going to the right post. Curran saw him and he just tipped off the end of his stick. Right. Good look, good idea. 408 left in regulation. We're tied here one to one uh, on a Matt being Cooley's goal like from Eddie and Jackson and here. Finkelstein. Back to the point. Daco, a one timer, gloved and held on to by Beal. Shots are 11 to one in favor of Walpole this period. Wow. Walpole has Walpole's gotten progressively better. Uh, as the game has gone on, Silver Lake is no slouch, but Walpole has put tremendous pressure on Beal. The puck has been in the Silver Lake zone for most of the third period. Right, right. <laughs> Andrew Falzone with it, gets it up to the point. Comes back again, bringing it back in is Griffin Curran. 
No, I'm sorry, that's a Grady Murphy. Grady Murphy, great yep. effort on the four check. Coming down, uh, Cotterelli, Kim Cotterelli. Off the point, Cronin sending it ahead for Silver Lake. This comes back in. This will be icing. We'll come back to the left of Shamoon in the Walpole net. 2.54 left in regulation. We're deadlocked, one to one. Shots in L, 30 to 16 on the game in favor of Walpole. Really? Uh, Timberwolves. Silver Lake's gonna go with their top line here in the offensive zone. Walpole answers with their top line. Down, going around the boards. Kavet Cattarelli. Put the head to Jackson. He couldn't quite get past the Waffle defender. Fans wanted interference there. Right. All right, Finkelstein with it. Here comes uh, right back. Dunphy, a shot blocked out front. Cleared into the uh, neutral zone. Goes behind the net. Shamoon leaves it for Norton. Parker, wide of the net. Two minutes and four seconds left in regulation. There's a pickup by, oh, a big hit by Norton on uh, Connor Finn, separating him from the puck. Tough line change here for Walpole. And as we icing, will come back to the Walpole zone to the left of uh, George Shamoon. Minute 42 left in regulation. We're still tied here, one to one. <clears throat> Puck goes along the boards, it's kept in by, oh, over for Cover and chase it. Oh, hand pass call there. And uh, it's too bad because Curran would have been in all alone. Waffle thought they had a little break right. going there. Yep. Tough to see down below the boards. All right, the face off to Shamoon's left. What Whistle a block by B and Cully. Yeah. Goes, goes up over the, with the steal. Walpole coming back with it. Here comes Dunphy. Dunphy's dangerous, a shot saved by Shaboon. And he holds on to it with exactly one minute left in regulation. Shamoon flashes Just the them. second shot of the period for Silver Lake. Silver Lake was a good one by their top gun, yep. 14 Dunphy. Great stop by George to keep this deadlocked at one. One minute to go, both teams have their first lines out. Oh. Bringing it back as Dunphy goes behind his net. Walpole circling around in front. Off the boards, Stolen kept in by, by Walsh. Walsh. Walsh gets it to Strickle sign, save, rebound. They can't get it through. Yeah, front in front, cleared away, out of the zone. Goes behind the net, skating out with Wal for Walpole. It's Jackson, he gets it over to uh, Finkel's uh, to um, 
Walsh who sends it around the corner. 10 seconds left in regulation. And that will end the regulation here. We're going to go to sudden death overtime. Well, the fans are getting more than they asked for now. They against certainly free are. Hockey and uh, the short staff period were 11 to 3 in favor of Walpole. Since the end of the first period, the second and third period, Walpole's really carried the play. Right. And the continued pressure, they finally broke through a very strong goalie. Yeah. And uh, it's going to take a great shot to beat him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was a great um, piece of that third period in the last, in the last, in the last minute, both teams' top players, 14 Dunphy and 16 Fink, each had an opportunity, and both goalies stood tall. Right. And uh, I believe we go to four on four now. I think so. Yeah, I think it's four on four. And it's a five minute, I think. Four minutes, uh, five, four on four for five minutes, I think. No clean in the ice. Right. And I think they do they go to three on three for five? If I think so, scores? yeah. And then a shootout. Right. You got to think with the skill and talent we see on the ice and this much open ice, somebody's going to break through in the next right. 10 minutes. Yeah. Right? Yep. <clears throat> you can see on both teams, their top lines, their top players, they've been on the ice so much. Right. They're really leaving everything out there. Yeah. These kids are representing their towns and their jerseys and their coaches and the students very well. Uh, both teams should be proud of themselves. Oh, Whoever definitely. ends up moving on yep. to the final four has earned it. Very um, much so. Yep. Two uh, hard-nosed hockey teams. Uh, they'll switch sides. The wall pull uh, will still be going left to right on your screen. Crowd getting back on their feet again to let it let them know they appreciate this. <clears throat> the Nobody's sitting down now. No. So... Looks like they have eight minutes on the clock. Oh, that's different. I thought usually they went five. Okay. And it looks, yeah. looks like it's four on four. Four on four. So we see uh, Daco, uh, Finkelstein, Bian Cooley, and Jackson for Walpole for uh, Silver Lake. Cronin, Dunphy. Uh, I need a couple of more numbers here. Dunphy actually took the draw for them. He's a defensive. So Finkelstein drops the puck back to being cool. So it looks like in this format, 14, their top player moves the forward. Right, yeah, he took the he took the face off. He's he's, he's a tough four check at a handle. He skates so well. Both coming down. Finkelstein going down there. In front. Oh, it's picked off by the Lakers. Gotta get back on defense coming quickly. down. Shot up over the net. Nice save off of Connor Finn by Shamoon. Uh, Finkelstein coming up. He's gassed. He is tired. Uh, yeah. Jackson as well. Uh, Curran and uh, Cox and Curran now. Cox replaces. Uh, uh, he, he was a little bit off size. <laughs> uh, it was a nice try for the sneak away, but he was off sides. Face off will be in front of the Walpole bench. Puck bounces into the Silver Lake zone. Good stick by Curran there. Yep. Took the last second to break that up. Donahue with it. Clears up behind the net to Norton. Norton looking up. Gets it across to Donahue. Back in. Shot. Gloved and held on to on a shot by... Uh, Nice little drop pass Joey by Curran Cox. just inside the blue lane. Set Cox up for a one-timer. Right. Yep. I don't know if he got full full um, contact with that. Right. 
Looks like we're going with Biseglia and Walsh now up front. We're back to the point. Over to Daco. Daco looking for Walsh. Didn't find him. Here comes uh, Silver Lake. But Biseglia, uh, being Cooley with the puck. Going to the net is Biseglia. Daco keeps it in. His shot is blocked. There's a break, two on one for the Lakers. Oh, goes through the le stick. Couldn't, couldn't handle that pass. Shot behind the net. Comes up. So it goes up to the point. Here comes Silver Lake coming back. Here's Dunphy's shot wide of the net. Wapple got caught in a tough change they there. They did, yeah. Created an opportunity. Shot goes wide. The shot saved. Reba. And a save by wow, what Shaboon. A save. Dives back and gets it. Shaboon there. And he had a... Uh, I think that got behind Shimon and Bian Cully. But Bian Cully was in. able to fall on top of it, yep. So Bian Cully. Walpole looks a little tired right now. Some of these players have logged a lot of minutes. Right. Five minutes exactly left in the first overtime. Number number 14 has not left the ice yeah. in overtime. Shot whistles high and wide of the net. Look at Walpole. Here comes Finkelstein. Shot. Oh! Just deflected up over the net. Jackson with the puck. He loses control. Here's Dunn. The refs, the refs have put away the whistles. Yep. Icing the call here. As, uh... Norton was hauled down by Dunphy in the corner, and now uh, they let it go. 427 left. Face off to the right of Shamoon. Face off comes into the neutral zone. Cleared back in. By the Lakers, Daco going there. Comes up to uh, Curran. All right, here comes Curran shot wide. He gets his own rebound, but it's taken Both away. Both teams are tired. Yeah. Shot up over the glass. Being Cooley kicks it behind the net. He's uh, sandwiched in along the boards. And Daco comes up with the puck. Sends it out to center ice. The Lakers clear it in. Dunphy with it behind the net. Circling in front. Going up top. Still circling. The shot. Uh, I think that hit the the stick of uh, the, of uh, Shaboon. Shot save. Nice save. Daco with the rebound. Finkelstein going down after it. Dunphy with the puck. Shot up over the, he was going for the top corner, just missed. He had it, he, he had did, a little yeah. opening. 2.43 left in the first overtime. Being Cooley circles back behind his head, gets it up to Finkelstein. He clears it up to center ice to Biseglia. Mike coming back. Mike 
Mike going into the corner. Holds us, puts the brakes on. Gets it behind the net. Segley, a one-man show. Right. There's a break coming out. Shot up over the top of the net. Kavicki there for, for uh, Silver Lake. Thrown out in front and it's stolen. Here comes uh, Walsh. Great job by yeah, Walsh. Walsh. To keep Great that effort. puck in, yeah. Puck is Walsh. Ryan looking for somebody. He's hemmed in along the boards there. Going out to help out is uh, Curran. Battling still. Puck comes loose. Shot through a screen by Norton. Doesn't make it through. Good try by Norton. It got deflected a couple times just right. from wide. That's what it's going to take maybe. Yeah. Deflection. And that will be icing with 58.8 seconds left in the first overtime. Faceoff will come back to the left of Strummer Beals. <coughs> Timeout being called by No, no. I think the refs thought somebody had called a timeout, and now yeah. both coaches are saying they, they don't know. want one. Right. Yep. No. A little bit of a break, though. To the face off to Spiel's left. I think this is Dunphy taking the faceoff. He's a jack of all trades for them. Yeah, well, he did for the opening faceoff, too. I think there's a break for Silver Lake. Shot whistles wide by uh, Cronin. He had uh, Connor Finn with him, couldn't do anything. Curran with the puck, Griffin looking. Drops it back for being Cooley. Matt moving in. Shot, looking for the far post, couldn't get it. Curran keeps it and drops it back to the point. Back to Curran. Walpole keeping it in at the point. Comes out to the neutral zone, but Walpole controls it. Finkelstein winding up. Here he comes. Goal! Yeah! Yeah! wins it with 14 <laughs> seconds! <laughs> Jason Finkelstein once again. This place is Bedlam. Top right corner, and Walpole will advance. Time of the penalty, just 14 seconds left in overtime. Well, Rick, what can you say about Finkelstein? We've used every superlative in the book for him, yeah. and he delivers in the clutch. He does. 14 seconds to yeah. go. What a moment for this whole team, the seniors. Yep. Their last home game on this ice, right. no matter what. And yeah, they'll be going to the final four, ladies and gentlemen. George Shamoon with an unbelievable game in net, but Jason Finkelstein, once again the hero for Walpole. Well, the, the kids are really just enjoying this they, moment. They certainly are. Coach down with a double fist pump as he came across center yep. ice. The student section really enjoying they, it. They erupted. The brigade erupted when that puck went over Beal's uh, right shoulder into the net. And Beal looked like he couldn't believe he missed it. Nope. He, had, he saw it the whole way. It just went up over his shoulder. Yeah, it was just a rising missile. Yep. And uh, beat him stick side. And uh, Silver Lake, you got to tip your hat to them. Oh, yeah. What a tremendous effort. Great, Great game. team. Number yep. 14. I don't think he left the ice in overtime. I don't think he did either. It was like 14 and 16. Right. Finkelstein and Dunphy, just two yep. great sluggers. Yep. And Fink 
picked it up at center ice. He regrouped back into his own zone, picked up his speed, came up the left side, crossed it in the middle. Right. And you said the shot just up over the goalie's yep. shoulder. And the two teams at center ice congratulating each other for one great game. Hard fought both ways. Excellent. It's, it, this is the type of game where it's, you, you hate to see somebody lose. Somebody's got to lose, but you hate to see the way it went. You really do. It was a tremendous yep. game. Like we said, Silver Lake, great opponent, great right. effort, great student section from Silver Lake, great fans. They travel well and um, yeah. just really couldn't ask for a better game. And uh, I didn't mean to give you a hug there, but uh, <laughs> I, I had That's to. all right. They didn't see it on the camera. <laughs> Walpole uh, will advance now, like we said. So Walpole improves to 16, six and one. And uh, George Shamoon waving to the uh, brigade here, letting them know that that was for them. And uh, that uh, they will play now the winner of uh, the Norwood Holliston. Hopkinson. Hol Hopkinson? Hopkinson. Oh, okay. Well, Norwood Hopkinson. Okay. So Walpole not wanting to leave the ice at this point here. Like you said, for the seniors, the last time they'll be on this uh, ice surface. And, you know, we keep talking about the goal, but how much, what can you say about Georgie Shamoon? Right. His last game in front of the home crowd, and he put on a show tonight as well. Some tremendous saves. Just um, really just a great high school sporting event. You couldn't right. ask for more. Yep. And um, they're punching their ticket to uh, the final, final four. Final it looks four. like they're going to get the trophy yep. presentation. Yep. What was the uh, final shots on net? Final shots were 18-21 for Silver Lake. 31, 31 for Walpole. Walpole. Great, great effort by uh, the Timberwolves. Eddie Jackson and uh, Aiden Dunphy congratulating each other out at center ice. Dunphy, like we said, uh, we don't think he came off the ice the whole overtime period. So Walpole gets the, the symbol. So we'll go over the scoring here once again. Uh, after a scoreless first period, uh, Silver Lake got on the board first with Brendan Kavicki scoring from um, Aiden Murphy at the 823 mark of the second period. Matt Biancooley tied it up 516 into the third period with Eddie Jackson and Jason Finkelstein assisting. And then Finkelstein gets the game winner in overtime. I didn't, I'll tell you in a minute if there was an assist on the play. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I think I think Oh, I think like being Cully and Jackson might have yeah and the brigade mobbing the uh, Timberwolves as they come off the ice here. A lot of the uh, Walpole players are congratulating the Silver Lake players. Obviously, they know each other from off ice, uh, oh, non, non high school hockey. Yes, and the whole student section is greeting the team as they right. exit the ice. Great moment for those kids. They'll never forget this. So. Walpole will go on. I would assume they'll play on Saturday. It'll be at a neutral site, uh, but we will let you know. You'll you'll hear it as soon as we get a chance uh, for the Walpole here. The crowd is chanting, "We want Jason." Uh, They're waiting for Finkelstein and, to yeah, come off the ice. Right with uh, uh, um, uh, Eddie, Eddie Jackson, Jackson, and I think that was, was that Dunphy that they were posing with over yes. there. Dunphy. Dunphy. I mean, so obviously they know each other. They know a good hockey player, and they're so here proud comes to the see students it. Yeah. to greet their hero today. Jason. So after scoring six goals in the last game, 
He only scored one tonight, but it was the game winner in overtime, yeah. so what can you say? So we would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School boys varsity hockey action. Once again, the final score in overtime in the MIAA Division II Elite Eight game, Walpole Timberwolves 2, the Silver Lake Lakers 1.